there, this is Jennifer Vanderbeek, Imagine Artist in Residence. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you something I'm calling echo stenciling. So I'm gonna start off with some navy cardstock and I am going to stencil Versicolor in Hyacinth, which is a lovely lavender color, onto this very dark background through a leaf pattern stencil using a sponge dauber. With the little cubes, you could probably go direct to paper with no problem, but I like having a little bit more control and the ability to kind of blend a little bit. There's no special trick here. It's just filling the spaces with the ink on the paper. And the contrast of this very light Versicolor against the dark background is beautiful. I decided to go ahead and on half of each leaf, I'm adding another pass with the Versicolor. And that is just to deepen the color and make it maybe a little bit more opaque. And you see that, you know, it's kind of creating some variation in shading. Now I'm gonna use metallic silver all-purpose ink and a brush tip Fantastics. And I am going to add silver highlights to each leaf. I know that I am going to cut this large piece of paper up once it's done. So I'm not worried about what angle these highlights are suggesting the light is hitting the leaves. That's not the point. I am just making sure that each leaf has some of the silver API on it. And wow, look at how that pops against that navy background. Don't you just love that? And again, you could stop there and it would be beautiful, but here's the part that I'm calling the echo. There are techniques out there where you stamp or stencil the same image slightly offset from one another. And what this does is create shadow and the idea, the look, the effect of three dimensions in a very two-dimensional space. That's not what I'm doing here. I am playing up the distance. I'm not going just next to you. No, I am scooting the stencil in some cases like a good you know eighth to maybe a quarter of an inch away from that leaf edge and because I want this gap I want it to look more graphic more designed as opposed to anything else I am playing it up I am filling some of that negative space and I've shifted the stencil periodically to make sure that not all of my echoes are going in the right direction. Just think of them like ping-ponging off of a very empty room <laughs> to kind of continue the echo theme. Now, this paper, this pattern is absolutely gorgeous, if I do say so myself, but I wanted to fill a little bit of the negative space that was left with some more of the silver all-purpose ink, and so I just decided to add some little clusters of three dots. You can call them picos, you can call them trifoils, you can call them whatever. I just think they're good filler, and it just made for a more cohesive piece of background paper. You can get several card fronts from a sheet. They would look fabulous used as tags, bookmarks, or, well, anything else. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it's given you some ideas. I hope you play around with this technique. And as always, for more tips and inspiration, please point your browsers to imaginecrafts.com.